expected to play his next match in West Bromwich Albion reserves. Instead, he's making his debut in the top division at the ripe old age of 30 after joining Bolton on a month's loan. But it was Taylor's goal-scoring record in the lower divisions that convinced Colin Todd he was the man to fill an emergency and share the workload up front alongside Nathan Blake. Bolton still have five senior players injured, but Keith Brannigan is back in goal today after missing five, and fullback Neil Cox makes only his second start after a long recovery from injury. Southampton manager David Jones has done what others have done before him today and bitten the bullet. He's dropped Matthew Letissier to substitute. Instead, he's brought in Edgel Ostenstad to complete an adventurous front three with David Hurst and Kevin Davis. Klaus Lundekvarm still has a calf injury. He's replaced in the centre of defence by Richard Dryden. Gary Willard drove up from Worthing to officiate. Well, with Bolton 17th in the Premier Division, just one place and one point above the bottom three, and Southampton in 13th place, this game has the importance of being a, a six-point fixture for both sides. Two of the teams who were generally expected to be fighting against relegation. That's a good ball into Taylor! Oh. Well, what a start that might have been for the new arrival, who only found out at tea time on Thursday that he was playing. And perhaps he'll just be disappointed that the chance came so quickly and so unexpectedly. He's never played in the top division before. 450 appearances for Leeds, Bristol City and West Brom, all in lower leagues, where he has scored some 182 goals. This is Dodd. Aimed at Oshtenstad. Hurst almost got in behind. Jamie Pollock aimed at Taylor Blake he was always going to win it you could see that had time to steady himself and get as much force on the header as was possible well, Colin Todd feels that his side are better equipped to stay in the Premiership than last time. But they haven't won in their last six matches. Here's Andy Todd, his son. Well, he might have a go. He couldn't have hit it much harder. You can only fault the direction. Francis Benali is sent off for the tenth time in his career. A player who'd put his act together this season after being sent off three times last season. But Gary Willard reached straight for the red. There was no hesitation. Well, there was just a little flare-up between them, and then it was the swing of the arm. It was a slap more than anything, but if you raise your hands, you're in trouble. Carlton Palmer. Hurst. Richardson. Here's Palmer. Supported by Dodd. Hurst. Good touch. But there are more defenders than attackers. It didn't need to be much higher than that to successfully isolate Paul Jones. Well, David Jones is trying to get messages across about how he wants his team to reorganise. It looks like Dodd's going to play at left back. And for the moment, Kevin Davis has gone to right back. 
Good turn. Pollock. Oh, it's just hit too long. This is Thompson. Bolton have the throw. Well, the break was on, the opportunity was there. It just needed the ball delivered a little better by Pollock. Now, a chance here for the cross. Oh, it's in! Oh, it's at the far, Taylor! After Jones had dropped it. It was driven in hard into the six-yard box. And the keeper spooned it. And the debutant with a chance to open his account. A little shake of the head as the half-time whistle goes from Bob Taylor, who might have been playing for West Brom Reserves, presumably in front of two men and a dog. Instead, he's on the Premiership stage and knows as he goes in at half-time that he could have scored twice. But it's a half which ends goalless and a half which ends with Southampton reduced to ten men after Gary Willard had flourished the red card. Bolton nil, Southampton nil. Southampton begin the second half with Robbie Slater on as a replacement for David Hurst. And having had 15 minutes for David Jones to decide how he wants his team to be reorganised now in the absence of Francis Benali. This is Sellers. Phillips. but the crowd on the far side of this magnificent stadium might have felt it was closer. One or two oohs. Oh, it's a good strong shoulder challenge, and Gary Willard's happy to let play continue. Oh, good play by Davis. He's so difficult to shake off the ball. Bolton the discovery. Well, he's 14 stone, Kevin Davis, 20 years of age, and a real difficult man to shake off the ball. Chesterfield's hero on their FA Cup trail last season with four of the goals that helped take them to the semi-finals. And what a bargain he looks at £750,000, the fee that Graham Souness paid for him. Jamie Pollock. That's Moncow over his own crossbar corner. Well, there's a lot of defending for Southampton to do yet. Thompson has come across to take the corner this time. That's Jamie Pollock. What has he got to do to score? Cox. Jamie Pollock. Not cleared yet. Cox. Corner. They've taken it quickly. That's Carlton Palmer. Only as far as Todd. Well, surely somebody's got to give eventually. The pressure is relentless. It's Bolton's throw. It was a superb corner by Sellers. And Andy Todd coming powerfully over a, a whole clutch of players in front of him. 23-year-old son of the manager Colin Franz Carr played against AC Milan last season Gun Larson the other substitute skips around Oakley crosses to the back post there were two defenders and no attacker Carr 
Well, the pressure's relentless. Corner. Well, Jason Dodd might have a, a busy conclusion to this match if he has to match the pace of Franz Carr. Franson chips it in. Oh, that was a... That have... Well, Paul Jones not expecting to have to save from his own player. We came a long way to claim that. And still, Southampton hold on to what they have, which is a, a goalless game. And if it stays that way, a valuable point. Well, here's Thompson. Here comes another Bolton attack. And what at the end of this one? Franz Carr picked up a bit more pace. Thompson had stolen through the middle. Franz Carr slipped him in. Well, they've had shots saved on the line. They've had shots blocked. And now they've hit the woodwork as well. Well, they haven't scored a goal. All of the 90 minutes. We've only some 60 seconds left, plus whatever Gary Willard chooses to add. Time very much running out for both. Neil Cox. Oh, great shot. And it swerved in the air, which made it doubly difficult for Paul Jones. He's never scored yet for his new club, Bolton, Neil Cox. Missed the first four months of the season with a hamstring injury. The fans around the stadium wonder why there wasn't a, a white shirt standing roughly in the spot where the goalkeeper collected it. Out to Gunlarsson. Is this the last throw of the die? Surely it must be. Into Taylor, who let it go away by Andy Williams and that's it Southampton prove once again how difficult it can be to break down ten very determined men but close as Bolton came and they didn't come any closer than the header by the son of the manager Andy Todd which has cleared off the goal line they couldn't break them down and Southampton will be very delighted to remain unbeaten now in the Premiership for five games in a row it's two wins and three draws. The final score here at the Reebok Stadium is Bolton nil, Southampton nil. They've given them the, the best shot, but sometimes effort isn't just good enough. But there was chances and hard chances. Um, Bob Taylor could have scored in the first 30 seconds, hit the crossbar um, in the first half as well. Um, but we just got to keep um, battling on, turn the corner. And I think someone up there might just give us a little bit of luck. Southampton are one of them teams where, you know, we've gone down there to the Dell, we've got three points. So we haven't done bad, we've taken four points away from them. But at this stage of the season, really and truly, we need to be picking up, you know, home wins. Yeah. What was your view of the sending off of Francis Benali? Well, I didn't see it, but I asked Francis and Francis, Francis said he just flicked him. So you can't do it and he's got to go. Players know uh, that if you raise your hands, then consequences are that you will get a red card. I mean, um, it might have been a bit, a bit harsh, but you can't question the referee. Mm. Well, it's difficult. I mean, with ten men, you just you're just going to work as hard as you can and hope, hope you get a result. Uh, I mean, they're a good side. Um, I think their position in the league is a, a bit false. I think they played better than that, at, and they'll feel they were unlucky today. Mm. But that's the way it goes. You paid what for Carlton Palmer? A million pounds. What sort of offers have you had for him since? That's half a million too much for him, I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's been superb. He's come in. He's uh, his attitude spot on. He's lifted the place, uh, he gets people going, his work rate is tremendous, and that rubs off on a lot of the other players, and he won't let people rest for their side and ours, and uh, that's why I got him. Bearing in mind that the 